생생회화 10분 일부 전체 이해력을 높이기 위해 글자 그대로 번역이 아닌 미국인이 실제로 쓰는 표현과 회화 방식을 배우고 우리가 쉽게 활용할 수 있도록 해석했습니다. Is it cold out? Yes, it's cold and windy. I'm going to wear my heavy coat. Good idea. Where are you going? To the post office. Why? To mail this package. Would you buy some stamps for me? Sure. How many do you want? Ten. Here's the money for the stamps. Okay, I'll be back in 20 minutes unless I get blown away. Do you like snow? No, I hate it. Why? Snow is so pretty. Yes, but I don't like to drive in it. Well, it's beginning to snow. And I have to drive to work. How far is it to work? Six miles. Are we going to get much snow? About 12 inches, they say. Oh, no. Driving will be dangerous. Please be careful. I will. By the way, can I borrow your car? When is your vacation? It starts next week. Where are you going? We're renting a house on the shore. That's wonderful. Yes, we love the ocean. Do you swim a lot? Not very much. Then why are you going to the shore? Because we all bought new swimsuits. I'm going to play soccer. Who are you playing with? Some friends from work. Are you a good soccer player? Yes, but I'm not the best player on the team. What time does the game begin? Nine o'clock. Why don't you come with me? I can't today. I'm very busy. Okay. See you later. I hope your team wins. My son is graduating from high school today. And my daughter is graduating next year. How old is she? She's 16. I remember when she was a baby. I know. We're getting old. Don't say that. Why not? It's true. No, it isn't. We were young when we got married. That's right, but we got married 25 years ago. Today is my cousin's birthday. What's your cousin's name? Kathy. I'm going to her house after dinner. How old is she? She's 24. Hmm, she's my age. Is she pretty? Yes, and she's very nice, too. Is she single? No, she's married and has two children. Oh, that's too bad. Not for her. <laughs> What are you getting Jim for his birthday? I don't know yet. You can always get him a shirt. But I got him one last year. Ah, oh, that's right. Let me think. I want to get him something different. How about a briefcase? Good idea. His briefcase is getting old. And it's something he'll use every day. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Hello? Hello. Is Mary there? 
I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Oh, is this 685-5290? No, it's not. I'm sorry. That's okay. Would you like anything else? You haven't eaten very much. No, thanks. I'm already full. Oh, come on. Have some more. No, I really can't. I've never been much of an eater. Have some coffee, then. That would be nice. How do you take it? With sugar, please. No cream. Here you are. Thank you. This is a nice flat. Hmm. There's a living room, there's a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom, and there's a bidet. What's a bidet? It's like a toilet, only better. I'll let you figure it out. Well, none of my friends have a bidet. And even if I don't know what it is, they will be very jealous when I tell them. Well, here's the kitchen. Hmm, it's very small. Yes, it isn't very large, but there's a cooker and a fridge. There are some cupboards under the sink. Are there any plates? Yes, there are. Good. Are there any chairs in here? No, there aren't, but there are some in the living room. Hmm, there aren't any glasses. Yes, there are. They're in the cupboard. And uh, where's the toilet? Where is your meeting? In Dallas, Texas. How are you going? By plane. Do you like to fly? Sure, it's fast and comfortable. I'm afraid of flying. That's silly. Flying is very safe. Maybe, but I don't feel safe in a plane. I understand. A lot of people feel that way. I'd like to reconfirm my plane reservation. What flight are you taking? Flight 207. And your name, please? Henry Chandler. Yes, sir. You're booked on flight 207. Please check in at the airport an hour before flight time. Thank you. Which tourist attractions do you prefer when traveling? Historical places or natural landmarks? Well, historical places are always my first choice when traveling. What do you usually do when visiting historical places? I usually listen to the tour guide introducing the sites and take notes about important historical events. Can you name some historical places you have visited? Whenever I travel to a foreign country, I always visit its famous historical places. Some of them are the pyramids in Egypt, Angkor Wat in Cambodia, Stonehenge in England, and the Taj Mahal in India. What's your most favorite historical place? Why? I love the pyramids the most. Taking a tour around the pyramids, I can not only enjoy the gorgeous architecture, but also learn cultural and historical values of the ancient Egyptian culture. What is the most famous historical place in your country? It's definitely the Statue of Liberty in New York City. What's special about it? The statue was gifted by the people of France. It is a symbol of freedom for the U.S. as well as a welcoming sight to people coming to the U.S. from another country. Where is it located? It's located on Liberty Island in New York Harbor, NYC. Should the youth visit historical places instead of other places? Sure. Nowadays, the youth should visit these kind of places more often in order to preserve historical and cultural values of their country. What are the benefits of reading a newspaper or magazine? Newspapers, magazines, can broaden your mind about thousands of things without the need to travel. How often do you read it? I read it every day. What's the best time to read the newspaper? 
I think the best time is in the morning when you start a new day.